Hey, my name's Nick from Abato. I am the prop maker from Doctor Who. I've been working on the show since its relaunch, six series ago now, I think. I've also worked on Sarah Jane Adventures and Torchwood. Um, I was asked by Quantum Mechanics to make them the range of sonic screwdrivers, which I have right here, which are then going to be taken off to be reproduced exactly as I've made them, exactly the same way that they are made for the show. Same materials, same finishes, everything like that. So, there you go, we've got the Matt Smith Sonic here. All lovely, lovely. Red button, which no one knows what it does. So when you get these, yep. are the sections of it explained in some way to tell you what they're supposed to do? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I, you I use get your a, imagination? Yeah, I get, I get an artistic impression of like a, a drawing. I mean, yeah. the, um, the David Tennant and the Matt Smith Sonic were designed by... I can't remember his name, sorry, it's gone. These two were designed by Pete McKinstry. And, um, Really good, really good concept artist who's worked on Doctor Who quite a few series. I, I generally follow his, his concept. I tweak them a little bit, depending on how much time we have and if things are actually possible to make or if not. You know, because sometimes you can have a drawing and it just won't make sense. So I have, I have quite a bit of input on it because I've been there for a while. I, I, they generally trust me to put my own little twist on things and yeah, they're, they're usually happy with what I do. So, What's the method that you use to put these together? Um, a lot of it is turning on the metal lee, and then there's a bit of milling. Obviously, because it's metal, you've got to use solid machines. Um, it's not, I wouldn't say there's any sculpting really. It's, it is generally all metal work, there's a bit of resin work, like with the Matt Smith. You've got to mix up different colour resins and give it a bit of a swirl to get what you want. Give them a bit of a polish every day. Before filming and after filming, we polish the Matt Smith Sonic up. Phil Charlotte, the props master, gives it a bit of a polish. It tarnishes very quickly, you see. So in terms of materials, what are, what are we looking at here? Um, we've got a lot of aluminium. The body of the tenant is mostly aluminium. Aluminum, as you call it, sorry. Yes. <laughs> uh, the Matt Smith is aluminum and copper. A bit of leather, a bit of resin again. Go to the laser, we've got brass, aluminum, resin, and the river song is brass and Delron, nylon, and then you've got the aluminium body again and a bit of resin on it with um, like acrylic paint patina effect going on. A crackle paint on the Tenic, Tenic, the Tenant Sonic. <laughs> that's that's um, a tricky one to achieve because you've got to get all the consistencies right. It's a bit of trial and error, you know. It takes a lot, it takes a lot of uh, messing about to get your paint right on that one. So yeah, they're good fun to make. Probably one of my favourite things to make for the show. You get a bit more, get more, you get a bit more time to make these because you, you have to get them right, you see, because they're over here with prop. And how many versions do you typically go through when you're making this? Ooh, um, when we had the new Doctor Matt Smith, I made him an original one, and then from that day we, I had to make four more. So there's four, four, ten, um, four Matt Smith Sonics on set. Two of them are heroes, they extend. The other two, exactly the same, but they don't extend. And one of them we've turned into a torch, so we've got four on set. They, they, they maintain in quite a lot. Because obviously there's a lot of moving parts, they, they de dipping after and polishing, etc. We made two uh, laser screwdrivers, we did two River Songs, and there was two David Tennant Sonics as well. But I don't know where they are anymore. <laughs> so yeah. In terms of any internal electronics? Anything? Yeah, they've all got electronics. You've got um, the most comp... The laser's got three LEDs in it. Do you want to get out for you? So you've got three LEDs in the end. There's one inside, which only shows up in quite dim lights. This one is, um, you know, pops open like so. Makes a nice noise out, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And... Doctor, I gotta talk to you. <laughs> <On> the, <laughs> the River Song Sonic, you have a main light at the top. And you take off the little door, and you have the Neuro Relay, I think they called it, which was showing River Sonic's... I can't remember what it was showing anymore, it was there so long ago. But you can just change over a few little buttons, it does all sorts of nonsense, doesn't it? So yeah, 
Silence in the library. That's it. We all know who River Song is now, don't we? Yes. <laughs> I didn't see that coming. <laughs> I had the script, I didn't read it. 